This is a Crazy Mega Mink Satin tutorial, and on the Crazy Mega Mink Satin, we have the white face is unbandaged, and it's surrounded by bandaged faces. So the blue, yellow, purple, and green and red faces are all bandaged around in a circle. And if I flip upside down, the grey face, which is on the opposite of the white, is bandaged also, and it's surrounded by unbandaged faces all around the outside there. First thing that I'll do is I'll build the inside edges on this grey face. So I'll look for them around. There's one there. I'm not going to be able to turn that one in because that's an unbandaged face so if I try and turn that it's not going to move. I'll instead place it up onto a bandaged face, place it into such a position as it can turn on and turn that on. I want to turn this one on next, so I'll turn that around there, turn it on. And likewise, I won't be able to turn that one on unless I turn it onto a bandaged face. Place it into a position that it will slide on. Slide it down, and again, that one into there. And my last edge is here. So, I'll slide... Turn that up onto a bandaged face. Turn move that around and slide that down. The next thing I'll do while I'm here is I'll place all of these outside edges on. And I'll look around for one. There's one there. And it's the pink one. Incidentally, these are all lined up already, so they're unable to move from their correct positions. So if I just spun that, they would all go into their correct positions. But I'll line up the pink one for this. And I'll just bring that pink one down into position there. Or bring the place where the pink one goes into there. And up, up, down, down to place that and then turn it up. Could have left it up. And there's a blue one. Place that into a position where I can receive the blue one. Turn the blue one around. Yeah. Its position is going to be across here. So up, up, down, down, and replace it. There's the uh, bone coloured one, cream coloured one. And I'll bring that down. Move it across to there. And receive that. And the last one will be the orange one. There it is there. So I'll bring it down into that position. Bring that into a place where I'm going to put it in. Receive it. Turn it up. And locate them onto their correct centerpieces. The next thing I'll be doing is these inside edges around here. And I'll be locating them in one of these bandaged faces up here. And turning the target position in line here the grey one up onto that bandaged face, turning the piece in and turning it back down. So I'll go ahead and do a few of those. There's the other one that belongs here. I'll just turn it across to the top, relocate it up here, turn my target position up onto there, turn that piece onto it and turn it back down. There's a blue one located onto this face. Target position, target piece, back down. There's another blue one. Target position, target piece, 
back down. After I finished placing all of my inside edges around like that, the next thing I'm going to do is place these outside edge pieces down in between them. Now if I put that straight down into that position there, you can see that the orange inside circle corner has followed that down. The next step after this is to place all of the grey inside circle corners. So to make that step easier, I'm going to place some grey inside circle corners onto these edge pieces before I insert them. How I'll do that is, I'll move that into such a position that it can receive one. I have one there. Place that grey inside circle corner on. Turn it back into position. So now it'll place that grey inside circle corner at the same time. And as you can see it's received it. I'll do my green and orange piece next which is here. Uh, my green and orange piece is located over there. I'll bring it over so that I need my grey piece here. There's a grey piece. I'll slide that up to there. Bring the grey piece back around. Place it on and then insert it. I've placed all of my outside edges around there and all of my inside circle corners are placed here as well. But when I've come to do my blue and orange outside edge, you'll notice that my inside circle corner, my last grey inside circle corner is located in a place where I can't obtain it. So what I'll do is just place, I'll move on and place this one first by moving this edge piece down into here. Like that. Replacing it out with a green one. And then returning this edge piece down to here. And now I've got my grey inside circle corner out and my first green inside circle corner is placed. So I'll bring my cube back around for this one. Um, move this piece here up to there to receive it. Turn that on. Line it up and place it in. And that whole inside circle is completed there. I'll flip my cube back over so that I can start doing the rest of these inside circle corners around here. As I'm attempting my circle cube section of my Mega Mix first. So there is a, um, another green one. I'll place that into there by bringing this edge down into there turn the green one on and replacing it those two are done an orange one there's an orange one there I'll need to move that out of the way bring this down turning it on and putting it back by turning this down into there. Another orange one I wanted in here. There's one there. Turn this edge piece into there. Turn that on and place this edge piece back into there. and my inside circle corners are beginning to become complete. Well, I've placed all of my inside circle corners around the top here. I'm going to just insert my corners.
my outside corners and I'll just put my cube around this way for that and locate them around in the correct spot and I'll place it down so that the grey is on the top here and then just insert it into there like this so that one's inserted I'll find another one there and it's already lined up so that the grey will come down place it into there there we go and complete the others now that I've solved the circle cube section of satin I'm going to go ahead and reduce some edges and I'll be using my white unbandaged face to do that I've got an edge here I can reduce, just create that edge there and turn it off and I'll just be pulling up some edges and placing them together like that. Anything that I make I'll turn off, bring a new one up and create another one. Make that one, turn it off, turn that made one off and keep going. Made that one, turn that up, create that, turn it off and keep going. And this is what I've been left with with the last few edges. If I turn my U layer I'll make a few and I'll be left with three unmade edges. I might go ahead and Turn this over here so that I can make that one. Place that one up and return that, and that creates my last few edges.